we're not allowed to spy in Islam. Do you know one of the reasons? If you were to spy on each one of us, we would lose hope in humanity. We're sinful human beings. You spy on me, you may find things that I might be embarrassed. Okay, everyone's on a different level. Some are really major and some are not so major, but it's still embarrassing. If we were to spy on each other and we were to announce it all over the world, we would lose respect for everybody, everybody. But Allah says, you know what? We're going to keep. That's why we say to Allah, Ya man dhahar al jamila wa satar al qabih. O oh, you who has made apparent that which is nice, beautiful, and you've covered that which is evil and embarrassing. You've covered it. It's, it's part of the qualities of Allah. He's merciful. That's His mercy. He covered your sin. He covered mine. Because He wants humanity to have faith in humanity once again. But the reality is when we spy on someone, and we find something out, they may have already sought forgiveness of Allah and come out of it. And we will still be just finding that thing out and start exposing it in a way that we don't realize the guy who's here is the best possible person at this particular point in his life. But I'm taking him back to something that happened in the past because I just found it out now. I give you one example. There was a guy who came to me and told me, you know, I thank Allah. I've had six affairs. This is a true story, right? And I've got the best wife ever, ever, ever. And unfortunately, shaitan came to me and made me have six different affairs. And I thank Allah that my wife didn't find out. And I repent to Allah and I ask Allah's forgiveness. And you know, today I am a person who'd never, ever do that. And I said, brother, why are you telling it to me? Because if that's the case, you might have told it to others as well. And if you're going to tell it to others, your wife's going to get to know. And even if your wife gets to know six years later, I don't think she's Ghafoorul Rahim. <laughs> Subhanallah. That's Allah. She's going to hold it against you and say, I'm out of here. And by the way, that's the wrong advice. To say I'm out of here, people say, Look, just get out. No, don't. Work on it. Help them. You didn't marry in order to just destroy when you find out one or two things. No, you have to help. Yes, when it becomes unbearable, there is a way out. Definitely. But up to that point you help each other come on you know but i asked the brothers why are you telling me you know what he told me he says i'm only ever telling you so that you can relate it to the people that's what i'm doing here you can tell people that sometimes a person has done evil without you knowing they've come out of it they've sought the forgiveness of allah they mended their ways you didn't ever know and you won't know subhanallah but they did worse than what you can ever imagine. But they're gone. It's out of it. Meaning they're out of it.